Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ru. How do you do? Welcome back to my channel. I want to do another chatty video because I want to talk to you guys about something because <laughs> it's on my mind. Um, I want to talk about phone usage. <laughs> I have been struggling with my phone usage. I mean, kind of indefinitely. Like, isn't that just like the modern problem? Um, <laughs> so I like literally sat down yesterday and made rules for myself <laughs> for my phone usage because I just can't stand it anymore. I'm just like constantly overstimulated by my phone and I cannot be trusted to moderate <laughs> my phone usage so I decided I need to, to set down some defined rules for myself so I did that yesterday <laughs> and I wanted to like chat with you guys about it because um one it's just on my mind <laughs> so and two maybe if I make a video talking about it it'll keep me accountable so, but yeah, like I was saying, like, I've just been, like, so overstimulated constantly and, like, it gives me anxiety and, like, I'm like, why do I feel like this all the time? And I'm realizing it's my phone. Like, I, I'm like... I've been trying to manage my phone usage for like, I mean, honestly, since phones existed, but lately it's particularly bad because like, you know, like when I had a job that like means there was like a chunk of time where I couldn't use my phone, like, you know, a traditional job. So, like, that gave me a large span of time where I wasn't on my phone. Um, so it was less noticeable. Even though, like, you know, you're staring at a computer screen and stuff, but... I don't know. But, like, obviously I... am, like, in charge of my own time now, which is wonderful. Um, but it also means <laughs> that... I'm in charge of my time, and um, I'm kind of a pushover, and I'll be like, well, you know what, I'm just gonna scroll on my phone for a little bit, and then it'll be like an hour, you know? So, <laughs> I'm realizing that I need to define rules for myself, because I can't just be on my phone for a little while. <laughs> it's just like, a little bit leads into more and more and more and more. Um, let me switch to something else to tap on <laughs> while I talk. I'll do my journal because this is where I wrote down my cell phone rules. <laughs> um, so, I decided, first of all, I've deleted like most of my social media. Um, and this was like two months ago maybe? Because again, I had realized like this is too much. <laughs> it's making me feel bad. Um, so I deleted Instagram. I hate Instagram. <laughs> and I also deleted Facebook. Because I just decided that the negatives of those websites vastly outweigh any positives that I would gain from it. So those have been gone for, I don't know, two months or so. And like that, it doesn't really, it hasn't really affected me. I don't have, I will never go back to those websites, very likely. And I do not miss them. Um, that being said, I do have a YouTube <laughs> channel, um, which is fine. Like I treat this like a job, um, but, <laughs> while I'm like on my phone checking my YouTube channel and like responding to comments and stuff, I will get sucked into like 
like YouTube shorts and stuff and like the short form content specifically is so bad <laughs> for me. I just cannot handle it. Um, so like I've decided that I will not be checking my social medias on my phone at all anymore. <laughs> And maybe that's dramatic, but I think I need dramatic. Because I just cannot be trusted. <laughs> like, you know, I'm the boss and I'm a pushover. <laughs> so yeah, let me, let me like, look at what I wrote. I'll read it to you guys. I don't want you to see my journal though. Here's my summary of my rules. Do not check social media on your phone. Period. <laughs> you can check on your laptop when you're working to just check notifications, respond to comments, and that sort of thing. And so my like work time for YouTube is like now it's in the mornings. Um, and so I want to keep all of my social media stuff contained to my mornings and only on my laptop because I do I do have one like social media it's almost I don't even know if it's a social media but like it's like a website where I met a lot of people that I like online so I don't want to completely delete it because then those people would just disappear <laughs> so I'm keeping that a lot I'll, around, which like honestly I kind of wish I could delete it because it is very, it's like addictive, you know, but I'm going to keep it around and just like check it on my laptop with my work stuff. <laughs> That's the plan anyway, so. Um, I decided to change my morning routine as well, so... Usually, I will, like, eat my breakfast and have coffee and stuff, and while I'm doing this, I do my Wordle, the Wordle, and then after the Wordle, I do this, like, little, um, puzzle game, and I was thinking about it yesterday, I was like, is that really harmful, like, I don't know, do I need to cut that out, but, like, Honestly, I don't even really care about them. I just do them because it's what I do every day. And I don't think I like the fact that I'm starting my morning staring at a screen. So, this morning was the first morning I decided to not do that at all. And I literally just left my phone in my room. And it was really nice, actually. I, like, wrote my daily to-do list and I journaled. And I just sort of, like, sat, you know, like, with my thoughts. I don't think we do that enough anymore because it's so easily, it's so easy to, like, distract ourselves. Like, sometimes it's just nice to sit and, like, look at your surroundings and just exist, you know? Um, so it was really nice and, like, a very calming way to start my morning. And I think I'm going to do that from now on because I'd already cut out my like phone usage when I wake up um because like you know when you would wake up in bed and you just like grab your phone and start scrolling I stopped doing that like several months ago because I just don't think it's a good way to wake up so like you can probably tell I've just been like gradually setting new rules and boundaries for myself um and this is just like the next phase okay continuing YouTube and work YouTube work things are done in the morning when it's quiet. Editing can be done in the evening because I usually edit. I don't know why I don't edit in the morning. I like to edit like more in the evening. I don't know why, but <laughs> so. Um, and it says I can check comments in the morning and then just leave YouTube for the rest of the day. Um, and the reason I am doing that is because <laughs> 
I often will get too... Like, I check it too much. Especially if I have a new video out, I'm like... It's just not healthy. So I want to have like a designated time where I like respond to your comments and stuff because I do like doing that. I just don't want to be obsessive <laughs> about it. So that's the plan. So if I take a little bit longer to reply, that's why. Um, but I hope that's okay with you guys. Like I, I, I always eventually get to your comments, I feel like. So the things I can use my phone for are checking the weather, taking photos and videos, um, doing my language app in the morning. So I do that every morning when I use the bathroom because <laughs> they're like, um, when you like tie something to a habit, like you don't forget it. Like, <laughs> so I do the language learning in the morning. Um, Spotify for music and podcasts and ASMR at night. And the other rule is <laughs> because I listen to ASMR at night, um, my rule is you find a video, you put your phone down, you go to bed, nothing else. Because like, <laughs> I have started to use this time to click on short form content and like check other things on my phone. And that just leads to hours of <laughs> scrolling. And so I did this last night. I found my video and I went to bed. And I actually got up like 30 minutes earlier this morning. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to implement that. I'd already cut out like quite a lot of scrolling because I replaced that with reading books at night. And so I read every single night. So again, I'm like building these <laughs> habits very slowly. Um, but yeah, that's something I want to stick to as well. <laughs> And then I also made a list of like things you can do instead because I want to, um, I want to be more present in my life and like do things I enjoy, not just like scroll on my phone, you know? <laughs> so like, that's the whole point. Some of the things I wrote down are reading on the porch. I've been doing a lot more reading during the day, which like is wonderful. <laughs> Also, I just ordered like five new books on thrift books and I'm so excited. I will probably do a haul when they come. <laughs> I'm just so excited about them. Um, hammocking. I want to hammock more. Meditating. Meditating is really good for like when I'm overstimulated. Which maybe I will be overstimulated less now, but <laughs> it's really good, really relaxing. Yoga. Yesterday? I did outdoor yoga on my deck because I was like, I really need to do my yoga because I try to do yoga like every day, like just 15 minutes or something. Um, and I was like, but I want to sit in the sunshine, like, because I usually do my yoga in my living room. So I was like, I really want to sit outside, but I need to do my yoga. I was like, why not both? So I took my yoga mat out on the deck and did my yoga and it was so lovely and I also didn't listen to music or anything and I was just like so in the moment. It was good. Um, I'm probably going to do it again today. So. Um, other things. Walking. I already do a lot of walking but I think I'm going to walk down to the river today maybe. I want to do that more. <laughs> um, biking. Riding my bike. I haven't done this yet this year because I'm nervous because I don't have a car to like drive myself somewhere safe to bike. So I'm going to have to ride my bike through my neighborhood, which is scary, <laughs> but like possible. It's just people drive. They're stupid. <laughs> um, I want to make more art. This is, this is something that's important to me because I want to get better at art. But you have to like actually practice, you know? So actually the last two days I have sat down and done art, which is fantastic. And it would be really cool if I could do it every day, maybe not every day, but like a lot of days because I want to, it's something I want to improve on. 
because I do enjoy it. Um, and honestly, like, I have this idea that one day maybe I could, like, make my own, I don't know, stickers or something and sell them. Because I really do enjoy that process of creating stuff. So yeah, it's just something I want to work on. Because, like, that's maybe a future goal I have. And, like, I need to work on it for that to be, <laughs> for that to be a reality. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll do more art today. Even just, like, doodling is good. It doesn't even have to be good, you know? Um, what else? Practicing my Portuguese. I'd really like to, like, make a notebook and, like, write down words because that helps me remember. Um, maybe I'll do that. <laughs> Making food. <laughs> I don't know, that's a weird thing to write down. But, like, honestly, a lot of times I won't cook because I don't feel like I have the mental energy, but if I'm not on my phone all the time, I'll have more mental energy to cook. And I do like cooking. I like baking as well when I have energy, but, uh, so yeah, that's something else I can do. Um, doing outdoor chores. Okay. I love working. <laughs> I love working on my yard and I've, it's something I've been doing more of this year. I planted like wildflowers and um, cleaned up some stuff. So yesterday I made a list of like outdoor chores I want to get done. And so hopefully like if I'm like looking for something to do and I'm like bored, I can just be like, oh, I could go, you know, rake, rake these leaves up or clean up this rock pile or whatever, you know? <laughs> so, cause that's like something I really do enjoy doing is like working outside with my hands. So I want to do more of that. And, um, journaling. I already do that like every day, but like, yeah, journaling is good. Exercising, also good. <laughs> Making friendship bracelets, origami, love origami, listening to podcasts, like instead of like scrolling on my phone, just putting a podcast on and listening to it. I love podcasts so much. <laughs> also, I'm listening to the audiobook, um, Chloe Hayden's book, Different Not Less, or I like, I started it just barely. But I want to listen to that more, like, when I go on walks and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> cross-stitching. I have a cross-stitch I'm working on, which I haven't worked on in a really long time. Um, dancing. <laughs> this is a weird one. But, like, I actually... Last year I taught myself how to shuffle dance. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, you should look it up. But I just, like, literally saw a video of someone doing it. And, um, I was like, that looks really cool. I have zero coordination, but you know what? I'm really stubborn. <laughs> so it took me like forever to learn like the basic moves, but like now I have the basic moves down like really good and I can keep rhythm to like most, I mean, not like really, really fast songs, but like, <laughs> I don't know. It's really fun. I had to stop doing it because my knee um, <laughs> I think I actually hurt, well, I hurt my knee, <laughs> I'm trying not to go on a tangent, but I hurt my knee in summer of 2021, and it's just like one of those things that I'll like act up. So I think last summer I maybe hyperextended it a little while I was shuffle dancing, and then it just kind of got worse and worse and worse, um, so I had to stop doing that, but it's getting a little better, so every now and again I'll do like some shuffle dancing. <laughs> it's really fun. And it's really good cardio, like <laughs> um sunbathing outside. I love I just love sunshine. Um and I've been like putting a blanket down in the yard and just reading. It's wonderful. It's so wonderful. <laughs> Videography and photography. Those activities are like the most grounding thing for me. It's wonderful. <laughs> bird watching. I love bird watching. <laughs> but yeah, so. Um, I meant to tap on more things in this video. Let me tap on something else. We'll do this guy. Um, 
So I guess the focus of this video is more just me rambling about my phone usage. Um, so I hope that was enjoyable, but <laughs> like, okay, so I started this, these rules about midday yesterday and I already feel so much better and it's so stupid. Like <laughs> I do this to myself. Um, so I'm, I'm going to follow these rules hopefully for a very long time. And, um, like, <laughs> my brain is telling me, like, this is, yeah, like, this is impossible, this is, you can't do this forever. But, like, you, I can, though, like, <laughs> I, it's like, you don't need your phone and social media to su survive. But my brain is like, you do, though, <laughs> you know? I hate it. I hate it. The modern dilemma, I guess. Um, but I already feel so much better and I'm going to spend today doing things I like doing and like doing my YouTube stuff and, uh, yeah, hopefully I can keep up with this and hopefully I won't fall back into my bad habits because I just can't handle my phone. Like I just... It's like almost an addiction, like, and I don't like, it makes me feel horrible. <laughs> I guess like, cause, cause like, I don't think that we're supposed to be that stimulated all the time. We just have this thing that's like constantly stimulating us. And I just don't think it's good for me. I, I don't know if it's good for anyone, but it's definitely bad for me. <laughs> um, and so I'm just tired of feeling like crap all the time and not being able to do the things I want to do. So this is my solution. This is how I work, you guys. Like, I let things get to a, a really bad point and then I'm like, I gotta fix this. <laughs> so I like sit down and like, what is the solution? What is the solution? And then I'm like, once I set rules for myself, I'm really good at following rules. <laughs> um, I think that's why I'm, <laughs> I'm so good at like accomplishing, um, like things that a lot of people would just give up on. Cause I'm, I'm stubborn as heck, you guys. <laughs> like I, um, I taught myself how to do like a headstand and like, I'm still working on handstands, but like, I just think a lot of people would just be like, hmm, that's too hard. No thanks. But me, I'm like, how do I do this? I need to research the ways to do this. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> and then once I have an idea in my head, I'm like, this is what we're doing. We're doing it until we accomplish the goal. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys are like that, but like, <laughs> it works very well for me. I mean, I don't know. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because I know you guys like like rambly videos and this is like in my brain right now so I wanted to talk to you guys about it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave your experiences in the comments. Like, have you ever done anything similar to this? Um, honestly, I'm really excited. It's like the first few days are always the hardest because I've done this before. <laughs> like I've detoxed from my phone before, um, but I've never like set solid boundaries and I'm like, okay, I'm good now. I can go back to my phone, but no, I can never go back. Like it never works for me. So <laughs> I have rules now that I'm going to do my best to follow and I'm hoping that this will help me live a better, like more fulfilling, more present life. Because I, I want to do things other than be on my phone. And I want to not be anxious all the time. <laughs> so this is my solution. Maybe it's dramatic, but like... I also keep getting suggestions for these videos on YouTube that are like, I gave up my social media. And it's so great. And I'm like, 
I just need to do that. <laughs> so I feel like I've just been like gradually working towards this point for several years. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that's the plan and hopefully my life will become more rich and like once I get over the first few days I feel like it's gonna get way better because the first few days I'm like your, your brain's like, wait, wait, we need stimuli. Grab your phone. Grab your phone. I'm like, no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, but yeah. Like, once I build the habit, I think it'll be fine. And good. And really good. Because I feel so good right now. So much better. It's stupid. It's stupid how much better I feel good. How much better I feel good. How much better I feel. I need to shut up. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for hanging out today and listening to my rambos. I hope you enjoyed. Um, maybe this will inspire you to take a break from your phone. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for being here and hanging out today on my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Okay? I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. A wonderful night. You're doing amazing.